Take a look at this Temple Penn State game from 1996. Something is definitely off. If you look closely, they're not playing at Beaver Stadium, Penn State's home, or Veterans Stadium, where Temple plays. Heck, they're not even playing in the state of Pennsylvania. They're playing this game at Giant Stadium, and you may be able to guess one reason why, but the other reason for this site selection is questionable at best. Before I begin, I ask that you like and subscribe to the channel. I recorded another mini documentary this week about Hawaii and the Mobile Alabama Bowl, as well as a podcast with SSN Army. Over 85% of my watch time comes from non-subscribers, so why don't you stay a while and subscribe? I'll hold your jacket for you. Now, let's get back to the story. Temple and Penn State have met 45 times from 1931 to 2016, and all but one of those games have been at Happy Valley or Philadelphia. That one game is the topic of our conversation today. From 1978 to 2002, Temple played most of their home games at Veterans Stadium, home to not only the Philadelphia Eagles, but the Philadelphia Phillies as well. Like with many other multi-purpose stadiums that were built in the 1960s and 1970s, like Veterans Stadium, scheduling conflicts were common, and this was the case on September 21, 1996. Temple was supposed to host Penn State on September 21, 1996, but the Phillies hosted the Mets at Veterans Stadium on the very same day. Luckily, Temple had options as Franklin Field, the home of the Penn Quakers and former home of the Philadelphia Eagles, was vacant that day. Franklin Field had an adequate capacity with 52,958 seats and had even hosted the Penn State Temple game as recently as 1994 when 38,140 fans saw Penn State win 48-21. However, Temple head coach Ron Dickerson objected to this. Instead, Dickerson opted to move the game to Giant Stadium in New Jersey. When asked about the decision by the Chambersburg Public Record, Dickerson said, I felt it would help us get a foothold in a tough recruiting area. This statement would make sense if Temple rarely played in New Jersey, but they played Rutgers every other year in New Jersey and would visit Rutgers on October 26 of that year. And it's not like Temple was a great draw in New Jersey either, as two years ago, the 1994 meeting between the two schools at Rutgers Stadium drew only 26,468 fans to the 41,500 seat stadium. Even worse, in 1993, Rutgers and Temple played at Giants Stadium and drew only 22,314 fans. It gets worse. If Temple fans didn't show up to Giants Stadium, surely Penn State fans would, right? Well, four weeks earlier, on August 25th, Penn State played USC in the kickoff classic. Guess where this game was? Yep, it was at Giants Stadium. In front of 77,716 fans, keep that number in mind for later, the Nittany Lions dominated USC, winning 24-7 as Curtis Enos ran for 241 yards and three touchdowns. If Penn State fans saw their team beat mighty USC in Giant Stadium less than a month earlier, why would they want to go to Giant Stadium and play a team they had not lost to in 55 years and had won 20 straight matchups against and not lost in 28? Penn State was 3-0, having outscored their opponents 97-14 and fresh off an 11-2 campaign in 1995 that ended with a Fiesta Bowl win. Temple was 1-2 with only a win against Eastern Michigan. On top of that, Temple had not won more than two games in a season in six years, with 1990 being the last season with more than two wins. There really was no incentive to go for Penn State fans and much more students who would have to spend money to drive nearly four hours away from Happy Valley to East Rutherford. As you can guess, attendance struggled mightily as only 24,897 fans showed up to the 80,000 seat Giants Stadium to watch Penn State beat Temple 41 to nothing as the Nittany Lions outgained the Owls 387 to 149. Penn State raced to a 31 to nothing halftime lead and never looked back. This attendance figure of 24,897 was the lowest announced crowd for a Penn State game in 20 years. We will likely never see another Temple Penn State game in New Jersey, or any other state, as Temple shares Lincoln Financial Stadium with just the Eagles and not the Phillies, so scheduling conflicts are much more rare. But in 1996, Temple and Penn State's Big Garden State experiment failed miserably. Like and subscribe for more mini documentaries and podcasts. Goodbye.